Good morning, QNS Vlogs. Another beautiful morning, day four aboard the Royal Caribbean Serenade of the Seas. So we're gonna take you with us as we go about the ship on this last sea day. As always, we thank you for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. We would really appreciate it. So with that, peace. We'll see you later. Beautiful, beautiful morning. The sun is up and she has decided to eat her breakfast on the belt. What you get, Shay? I got a sort of pastry. Okay, great breakfast. Well, since Shay is showing off her bonnet, I, I might as well show you mine. You know, because you know, we queens have to make sure that our hair is impeccable. And these bonnets, y'all. Yeah, because we're real and this is how we do it. And that's what it is so my baby's enjoying her breakfast and we're gonna get ready and as i said we're gonna tour the ship and bring you some more footage today peace out for me shay yes can i get two waffles smoke oh, breakfast for this morning because they have my strawberry pancakes and that's all I wanted. <laughs> and they don't have them every day. They don't. It's like every other day. They have banana over there. <laughs> and I got the waffles with the, that's the like pineapple coconut compote one. That is so good. Oh my gosh. That was really good. So that's the most proud that I took. I'm sorry. This is a little bit messy. So right here, I they, I saw that over there by the grits they had kanji, which is like a, a Chinese dish with or like rice. It's like a porridge of some sort, um, and it's like very mild. But I got fried tofu and green onions added to it. I've never had it before, and I just said we're on a cruise. Why not try it? So here, first reactions. It's hot, like super hot. I mean, I with see. A, with a, with a pizza fried tofu. Like a very like mild like, rice. Mm -hmm. Once it doesn't taste like anything, but like I figure why not try it? So I tried. It. You asked for apple juice that was not diluted as much water. Right. So this is the difference. This is the diluted one. As you can see the difference, and this is the one that the that the um, wait staff young lady was so gracious to bring that one and that one tastes so much better oh my gosh I wish they would do this with all of the apple juices how much lighter that one is as opposed to that one. okay she wants me to try this cone I'm gonna try y'all I'm gonna do a little piece of you want a piece of the green onion yeah, that's gonna give, give it some flavor it don't taste like nothing you, had tofu? Tofu? you ever had tofu yeah. before no, no. You don't taste like nothing. That just tastes like rice. <laughs> exactly. The onion is giving everything the flavor. I think with that you need some salt and pepper. That one needs something sweet. Take out that savory taste. We're having a little bit like uh, this week. Instant grits versus cooked grits. Instant grits are very convenient. And you like cooked grits. He says you have to cook them and put salted water and everything, right babe? You have to boil the water with salt in it and cook the grits until you're like, that's the way you have to eat. I just want to put the water in the no grit. and then put it in the microwave. What you got in the microwave ain't no grit. <laughs> it's grits to me. Well, I guess that I don't eat grits, y'all, so I, I have no say in this fight. The Vitality Fitness Center here on the Serenade of the Seas. Fascinated guests only. Great 
before where a lot of the exercise programs are happening. And these are so plenty of machines. A nice, pretty nice fitness center.
That's an interesting taste. She says 90% alcohol by volume. That's a tasty sake.
it's okay. It's not perfume either. And I have to tell you, the strawberry one is really, really good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Some memories back home when we were to take John back. <laughs> <laughs> so Shay, what did you think of the sake? And since she can't walk, I'm full. Like my stomach hurt. My baby mama, go take a nap. <laughs> it was a lot of food. It was nice. It was really nice. So we are back from the Izumi Saki and Sushi experience. Sushi and Saki Well, Sushi and Saki. Saki and Sushi. Tomato, tomato. So that's where we're back from. It's a lot of food. It was $39.99. I'm not a fan of raw fish. So the first um, course was the raw yellow fin. And it had slices of jalapeno on it. So that's what made it bearable for me. But what also made it bearable was that sake they had. It was 90% by volume. It was good. I didn't like it. She don't like stuff that's got a high <laughs> alcohol content, but I do. And it was good. It went right with it. I was like, I need this to eat this raw fish. <laughs> uh, and then the second course was, I got this thing. Okay. Shay's gonna read it, y'all. Yeah, I mean, you saw the footage. Yeah, you the saw the footage. The second course was that roll. Yeah. And that was good. Yeah, it was good. It yeah. tastes it had like a different texture than usual. Yeah, it did. And then after that, we had the lobster portion, which yeah, it was okay. It was good. One tastes like a rock. Lo mm, I was gonna say rapture, <laughs> like Scooby Rapture. One tasted like a lobster roll, and the other one was really tasty. And it had that lobster top. What was it like? Deep fried. It was like a lobster tempura. Oh my like gosh! A spicy it was, mayo. That was good. I could have ate them all day long. I could have ate them all day long. I'm not gonna lie. And then we had the beef fried rice. Oh, the oh. It was the beef. It was like pieces of filet mignon and that fried rice. It was so good, but it was so much. That was when you said it was a generous that portion. That was a lot. Of that was food. a lot of food. Oh my gosh! At that point, I was like, I'm just gonna eat the filet mignon out the rice, <laughs> you know. And you I was I, mad I didn't eat all of it. I know. I was, I was like, Why are you not eating this, girl? Ma, I'm not stomach. I was okay. So, I okay. Could not eat all right, and I couldn't have ate hers because it was just too much. And I did, couldn't eat hers. Then we had mochi. We had mochi, and I'm not a fan of mochi. And I'm not a fan of green tea. And she assists. But man, you haven't got the right one. I don't like it because I feel like it tastes grassy. Comment down below. Do you think green tea tastes grassy? No. I do. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, they had the mochi. They had a green tea, they had a strawberry, and they had a mango on a strawberry coli. And I'm here to tell you that I did taste the green tea one and I wasn't a fan of The it. green tea was more perfumey to me. It now the strawberry food. one was the best one. I love that one. It was really good. The mango one was good too. Um, and then she came back and asked did we want some more sake? And of course I said yes please. Of the first one at 90 proof. The one with the first course. I had like how many of them did I have? Twa of the sake. And she had twa of the sparkling sake. So don't make it seem like I was the only one that was getting extras. It was like seven shots mm -hmm. of sake. It was. And it was all good. I had the snow sake, right? That was really, really sweet. Shay did not like that at all. Overall, Shay, would you give the sushi and sake? Experience? It was good. It was. I never had that many sake. Like, I don't think I've ever had sake before. So it was good to like experience that and all the different types of sake there is. Yeah, and then we had people. We had the chef that was explaining every dish. And we had the young lady who was from Japan. And she was explaining all the sake and how it's made and everything. Very informative as well. So I would give this experience aboard Royal Caribbean Serenade of the Sea. I would give this a four out of five. If you are a sushi fan and a sake fan, I feel like you would enjoy this. And it's more than enough. It's more than enough food, okay? It really is. You'll see from the footage. But overall, we really enjoyed it. It was a nice afternoon. I got my sake buzz on, y'all. Okay, bye bye. Peace. No, just looking. Just looking. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. We are here on board, as you know, the Royal Caribbean Serenade of the Seas, and we are about to embark on our last dinner here on board <laughs> so um how's how's everything how's the trip been for everybody um it's been okay so far it's just a relaxing trip 
it is it is that it's been very relaxing so um i'm not gonna take too, up too much time with that we're gonna go we're gonna go to dinner we're gonna show you dinner maybe shay and i go past the nightclub the vortex and give you a little bit of that action and maybe we'll swing past the casino i think there's also a comedy show tonight i don't know if we'll check that out but if we do we'll bring you a little bit of that so with that we're the, all to dinner you want to say something babe the disco is <laughs> that's what they said we about, we about to find out right and now. see they got the green memo i didn't get the green memo i got purple the closest i got is his little polo man with this purple one so i'm the alt one out today oh mwah, my hair blend you. with you, you got multiple colors. <laughs> whatever. Oh, and look my little star right here nah here. whatever all right we'll see you later bud peace so shays again with third time in a row three times a charm with the escargot she loves it yes she does and i have got I opted for the coconut shrimp and cute. Ooh, the same with you know what that is. The old bay. So this is the spaghetti bolognese. She got the long lamb shank. Look at that beautiful, beautiful piece of lamb. And Q got the spaghetti bolognese as well. And the fish and chips. But we forgot to tell you what the coconut shrimp tastes like. It was okay. It was nice. It was crispy. It was not greasy. So it was nice. Of course, I doubt it my old bag. The escargots are excellent as always. And we're going to eat our main courses. This is the apple, apple blossom a la mode. And I also got the chocolate cake with layers of mousse. Shake got royal cheesecake. And she also got the apple bottle. Hugh's hiding his, but he got that apple bottle. That's a really good dessert. How are you? Good. Come on, make some noise. Let me hear you, ladies. And gentlemen. I went like a year and a half without hearing it, you know, during the pandemic. I was home and, uh, you know, I was doing stand up on Zoom. You know, just sitting on the couch telling jokes to my laptop, man. That's not what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be this, right? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Round of applause to let them know what a great job they have been doing. Good morning, everyone. QS Vlogs. This is our debarkation day here aboard the Royal Caribbean Serenade of the Seas and um we're heading home and it was it's been a relaxing this has been a relaxing cruise y'all have a happy safe new years and to my from my family to yours we love you <laughs> and also Shay we want them to like and subscribe it yes. helps bring <laughs> us more content like and this. don't my ladies look beautiful this morning <laughs> I look crusty mm. right oh now oh my god we are so with that we're gonna close this vlog series out as always we thank you we hope you enjoy our content as Shay said please like please subscribe it helps us we need the subscribership to go up, y'all, so we can keep bringing these, this content. We love you, and we appreciate those who follow us and who comment. We love the comments. So with that, we're out. We're going home. Peace.